Hello, everybody, and welcome to a new Let's Play, a game that I don't think has been Let's Played before. I'm not sure, could be wrong on that, but it's Hammer and Sickle. And some some people say this game is really bad. To be honest, I don't think it's that bad. Don't like this music very much, but you know, doesn't matter. 1949. The fourth year of peace in Europe. People begin life anew. And the massacre of World War II fades like a bad dream. They rebuild shattered cities, restore the factories, and reconnect roads and bridges devastated by war. The Allies round up the remaining Nazis and bandits. Peace flourishes across Europe. But it was not to last. A new threat to world peace rises from the ashes of war. Nations that once joined together to fight fascism now oppose each other. Soldiers who celebrated together now find themselves on opposite sides of barbed wire checkpoints. The Allies are allies no more. Their leaders slice Germany into two occupied zones. The German people find themselves governed by very different political systems. The United States has a monopoly on the nuclear threat. The Soviet Union frantically prepares a nuclear option of its own. The world teeters on the brink, and a Cold War threatens to get hot as atomic fire. But yep, it's Hammer and Sickle. As far as I know, Jeff Major himself, when he completed Silent Storm, said he won't play this game because he thinks it's crap. He hates it. Now, I decided... For this to swap quite a bit of the the uh let's have a look yeah characters receive some medical aid da, 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 da. but I decided to do this by changing some of the music to be Silent Storm music because I hated some of the music in this game uh you'll be able to save the game at any point unconscious characters are likely to survive for a longer period of time without medical aid most of the characters wounds will heal between the mission I this is one of those games where I am going to go on easy. Um, simply because I'm going to suck at this game. I know as much about this game as Steven Seagal knows about acting. Um, but yeah, as you can tell, Silent Storm main menu theme playing instead of that very, very mellow theme that was on before. Okay, Scout Soldier is going to be me. Or I could select Custom. Heh. <laughs> Yeah, actually, I will. All right. So, name. Hmm. Let's have a look. Think about it. Think of a name. Hmm. Well, we're Russian, so you know. Let's think. A Russian name. Misha. Ah, uh, no, no, no. I, I don't like that name. Sergei Chernov. Why not? Nickname Pony. Why not? Strat I'm gonna put that down one, and I'm gonna put dexter dexterity up one. I'm gonna keep that there. Maybe I I don't know. Fuck it. It gives a shit. Um. Click next. Custom head. Okay. So nationality. Oh yeah. You, this is a slider. Ooh, yellow. Put him somewhere in between. Make him somewhat older. Yeah, like that. Bigger nose. Make him give him gaunt cheeks. What about his lips? 
Yeah, okay. <laughs> Big smirk that was. Yeah, like that. <laughs> oh god, he looks so weird. Eye color. Whoa, look, even the white of his eyes change. It's odd. Let's give him somewhat greenish eyes, yeah. It's faulty facial hair. Good day, comrade. Hmm. No, it's not gonna work. Hmm. Don't want to give him too much. Now you look like Russian soldier. No, no. Like that. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just like that. Okay, <laughs> click play. So yeah guys, um this is gonna be my weirdest let's play ever. Okay, we're in a rainy place at Peterstraub 38, or whatever that is. Her, her. Here, your papers are in order. I have to put my gun away to give a salute. Bye bye. Her, der. Oh, hi there. Please be seated, Comrade Captain. Do you understand your mission? Oh, no, I'm afraid I do not. Could you please explain to me? Make contact with Vaklav's group. If he's still loyal, deliver our proposal. If not, kill him. Ooh. We've served together since 1941. So I'm going to tell you what's not in the file. And what is not in the file? Moscow doesn't know about this mission. If you get caught, you'll be labeled a defector. We'll deny all knowledge of your mission. Can I just ask, is that like a weird birthmark on the back of your head, or is that your neck? I would expect nothing less. This task is much more difficult than it seems. I would prefer to go myself than to send you into this mess, old friend. Yes, okay, comrade, whatever. Then tell me, old friend, why me? I'm a... Officially? Whoops. <laughs> it's because you've seen Vaklav. But between us... Then tell me, old friend. Officially? Then tell me, old friend. Officially? Why me? I'm a commando, not an intelligence agent. There we go. Officially, it's because you've seen Vaklav. But between us, we don't have a lot of intelligence agents to spare right now. And frankly, you're a lot more expendable. Fuck. Thanks. But you should know, I don't really have intelligence training or diplomatic skills. Understood. However, I suspect this mission will call for your commando skills. It could be as volatile as your operation in Krakow. Where the fuck is Krakow? Why? The stakes have gotten much higher. Some of their leaders are eager to escalate tensions. They want to justify using atomic weapons on us. Oh no. They want to ejaculate tension. They haven't used their atomic bombs in four years. And they only dropped A-bombs on Japan to help end the war. Yes. But remember that some of their leaders urged them to drop atomic weapons on the Soviet Union instead of Japan, even though we were their allies. I don't think you are necessarily allies, typically speaking. Many of those leaders have increased their power. They haven't had enough of war and seek to spark another global conflict. So you must not fail. Who the fuck is walking around out there? Stand still, you stupid prick. What does that have to do with my mission? I've said too much. The post commander at the border to West Germany has been told to prepare for your insertion into enemy territory. Good luck. And good fuck. 
Well, whatever. I like guy still walking around like a friggin' lunatic. But yes. Wait. You want me to cross the border where? Where the border is, smartass. Right here, comrade captain. Ah, uh, lieutenant, in case you haven't noticed, there's a U.S. sentry post right there. And two barbed wire fences. And mines. Oh, is it yours? We will remove the mines. Very thoughtful. You removed the mines from the American side, too. The Americans haven't laid their mines in this sector yet. Good. What about all the American soldiers? They'll all leave in five minutes. How thoughtful of them. They'll run to the checkpoint. Why? Just wait five minutes. Oh, and our troops don't know about your secret mission, so please keep your head down until you reach the American side. Sounds like I'm safer over there. In five minutes? You will be. Got to go. They can't start the show without me. Well... This isn't the first time. My orders make absolutely no sense. The orders make perfect sense to me. Get through the checkpoint. Duh. And actually, I've already tested this game, so I already know how to do this part. And the simplest way... Will do. ...is to do this. Well, first off, to save. Oh, yeah. Do I have... I have stuff to add in here. Okay. Ability reduced snapshot costs. Look around with zero AP costs. Uh... No. No, no, no. Okay, let's do that. Shooting skill by 10 points when using an SMG. Well, I'm gonna want an SMG, but... Doesn't mean I'm going to have an SMG, does it? I'd rather have this one here. So the best thing to do is actually to wait. Is what I've discovered. To just... Mostly hang around and not do anything. Like, let's run over here. Stay hidden and just wait. There you go. <laughs> that happens. Macau. What kind of a tank is that anyway? That is stopping at the border. Get a bazooka! The damn commies just started World War III. Yeah, but sir, they're stopped at the border. Sir, they stopped at the border. It looks like a joke. Yeah, <laughs> it's a funny joke. Well, it's a damn stupid joke. Aw. I thought it was funny. That lieutenant's a hell of a joker. At least he didn't bring aircraft. Shame he didn't bring aircraft. Anyway. Yeah, this kind of makes it easier for us to get through because they're all focused on that friggin' thing. So all we're gonna do is rush it. Understood. And there you go. Oh fucking hell. Oh my god. Alright. Last time I got to this point, I was okay. Um. Can't do that. This time, somebody over there spotted me. Because I already tested the way this game plays, and I was doing okay. So what the hell? Ah, yes. You. So, what I want to do... So I want to take a look at you. Actually, give me a second. What did I put points in here? There should be one. Look for free. Faster pose change. Faster attributes growth good shot from any pose ah I want to get that this ability allows character to always shoot as if he's in the best pose that would be kind of good for me actually uh, so let's get rid of that get rid of that what the fuck is the X button all right so if I swap to this what's your accuracy 11 and 13 yeah that's kind of pathetic Yeah, you see, just moving back a little bit got the level complete somehow. Makes sense, doesn't it? 
Global military and political situation as of March 5th to 16th, 1949 Central Committee of the All-Union Communist Party of Bolsheviks. Reporting the situation and troop status for the period of March 5th to the 16th, 1949. I, the Anglo- oh, or I, or one, the Anglo-American troops in Europe are still in state of increased alertness. Troop locations show no changes. On March 10th to the 12th, the US Army conducted its tactical exercises under the codename Fletcher in the districts of Bremen, Oldenburg, and Munster. Western Occupation Zone. More than 15,000 military personnel, 150 tanks, and 2,000 vehicles were involved in the exercise. Okay. Individual reconnaissance flights were detected over the Baltic Sea, the Black Sea, and the Sea of Japan, as well as along the Soviet, Turkish, and Soviet Iranian borders. The U.S. Strategic Air Arm has detected 60 B-29 strategic bombers have been redeployed to the advanced air bases in Britain. Soviet air defense troops along... Long-range aviation fleets, units of Soviet troops aboard, and the frontier military districts remain in a state of increased alertness. A.M. Vasilevsky, Stemenko, whatever. Na, 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 na. Oh! Execution complete, sir. That hurt. Well, what about the woman? What about woman? I mean, she has huge tits. She could come in handy for making sandwiches. I mean, seriously. What woman? Vaclav had two men. Well, you see, she looked like men, but she turns out that she was only in sight of, well, closet and, well, not really a man. Yes, sir. We shot them, sir. But they were with a woman in a uniform. Okay. That wasn't in the briefing. Should we interrogate her, sir? We're out of time. Finish her and let's go. Yeah, these guys are sentinels, if you hadn't noticed. If you hadn't played the other Silent Storm games, which, unfortunately, I haven't. I've only watched a Let's Play. Well, two Let's Plays. Um, so, yeah. Well, she's a little bit torn up, but it's a shame her clothes are not torn in the right places. But oh well, looks like she's been beaten up and she's about to get the shit shot out of her, so let's watch and laugh. She dodged! Oh my god, she's awesome. Okay, now this was the point where I decided I don't like the music in this game. Right now you're hearing a Silent Storm theme. Before, I was hearing sort of heavy metal rock music playing. I didn't like that at all. So I changed it. Oh, wait, 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 can I save? I can. Nice. Throw. Ah! It's over. It's over. Through that. Ah! Experience, experience, and more experience. Yep. <laughs> ah! That one's finished. That's the easiest uh, that I could have hoped for that to go, isn't it? And combat. Let's pick up all this stuff here. Is there anything else? Yep. Shit. I want to change to a running position. And I want to have a look. 40... 55... 55. I'm just looking at which one's got the longest range, to be honest. They all have this... They're all exactly alike. Okay, good. Let's empty the clips out of all of them. Throw them all on the floor. I'm going to keep this extra pistol, because range 24, range 20, 762, 765, hmm. Okay, so we're okay there. So we just completely butchered some people. Let's have a look. Good to meet you again, Pan Vaklav. Ah. Wait, I think the woman is still breathing. Do you not only talk to yourself? Wait, I think woman still breathing. Wakla, Sentinel Soldier, Sentinel Soldier. Yeah, at one point, I was test recording this, and I threw a grenade in the middle of them, killed all of them simultaneously, and two of them went through these windows here, which was just friggin' epic. So yeah, she's still alive, apparently. And as we can see, this looks like a good place to carry her. So, okay, you take her in there. Take her from behind. Let's have a look. One ability point. 
just got a faster pose change. I thought I was like before, yeah, I don't want that. But I want that other ability that's attributed to it. Oh, look, there's a guy there. Could talk to him. Who are you? Get out! Okay, no problem. Bye. Shut up. I'm asking you questions. <laughs> Shut up. Name, rank, and job. Job. Henri Gotar. I'm a doctor. They hired me to set up a field hospital here. But I had nothing to do with that slaughter out there. It's no problem, Henry Retard. Take it easy. How many men were in the captain squad? Fifteen. Ten left after the five you just killed. And they are due to return soon. Hope so. If I were you, I'd get out of here. Yes, I'd get out of here. Wait, what are you doing? That woman's alive and needs my medical assistance. Oh, sorry. So, assist her. Very well, let me take a look. How is she? She was very lucky. I can stabilize her wounds for, shall we say, five hundred dollars? Oh, now we have a problem, don't we? Because, you see, I'm Russian, we don't have dollars, and why the fuck should I pay you for her? Seriously, aren't you, don't you actually care about the her at all? Ah, crap, okay. There you go. Glad you're reasonable. Lay her down over there, and I'll take care of her. Yep, okay. Take care of her. Reasonable, reasonable. Come on. She'll be okay now. She still needs rest, but she should be up by tomorrow. Tomorrow. Who is she? Who? I don't know. She came with the three men who the captain executed. <laughs> three men and one woman? You know what they were up to. Who did they come to see? The captain. The one you, uh... Uh, yeah. Killed. Yes. Tell me about him. I avoided him as much as possible. He was a dangerous character. Just like, uh... Like me, yes. Why did he kill those men? I don't know. It seemed to have something to do with the fact that their leader was Polish. Possibly. What else do you know? Nothing. I didn't ask questions. I patched up their combat wounds and they left me alone. All I know is some people around here hate them. Like me. What will you do now that he's dead? This work is too terrifying. I'm going back to private practice. Conrad said I could go back to private practice when the captain left. Well, you know, the captain's departed now, so bye we. What are you doing? I thought there's something up there in the corner of the room there. No, no, no. Come on, go on through. Anything? So far, nothing at all. Okay. Hey, yeah, I look like a tourist. Let's get rid of my actual other clothes. Yeah, this looks way better. So we got other people incoming, apparently. Oh, that guy just teleported there. Hair officer! Hair officer! I'm not a hair officer. I do not cut people's hair. I'm an actual soldier, thank you very much. It's one step too far. Understood. Huh. Don't really see anything in here at all. Yep, nothing in these buildings at all. Alright, let's go out front. Understood. Yep, you better understand. Talk to me. Her officer, we saw you plugging those outlaws. Please, accept our thanks. Uh, I was doing no such thing. I was shooting them. 
plugging them, I mean, if that's about that gay bar, I mean... Uh... At ease, soldier. Yeah, totally. Herr officer, Gregor saw a car headed this way. They'll be here soon. Any of you serve in the army? Yes, Herr officer. All of us. We can use weapons. We just don't have any. Take them from the bodies. And if you have time, please dispose of the bodies. Sort of a fuck-up that I disposed of all the ammo, isn't it? Thank you, Herr Officer. Right away! Oh well. You guys have no ammo. I just hope you know that. You're, you're screwed. Yes. Okay, back the way you came, I guess. Oh, what's that? Maybe carrying that helps me to use an S a gun? I don't know. Nothing there. Come on! Hurry up, dude. I want to search these places quickly. It's like I don't think I have unlimited time before they get here. Alright, so I found that there's no one there. All those people are running around. Russian soldier. Oh, that's the one that I had. Come on, dude, are you coming? Yeah, jump out the friggin' window, why don't you? Wait, who's that behind me? Henry? I'm coming presently. You're coming pleasantly? Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh my now. Yep, people are here. Let's pull up a seat. Get down. Open. Actually, what I think I'll do... I'll... No, actually, I can just sit still. Um... Yep, stay there. Actually, lie down? No, stay sitting. Let's just skip our turn. Oh my god, you're in a bad position, dude. Oh ho! More cannon, father. We're glad you could make it! I don't know who got hit there. Holy crap, dude, why are you way out there? Hey, she has a nice butthole. Tits. Okay, so some people are getting owned. Oh, wait a minute, all oh, the battle's going on there. Oh my god. Alright, some of it's going on over there. Down here, oh, some more guys. No, those aren't more guys. What the shit am I talking about? All right, so from the position that I'm in currently, I can't hit any of these guys. Right, um, from the position that I'm in, can I take shots at you? 7%, 2%. Fifty-three from that distance. Hmm. If I do that, though... No. It's not worth it. Come on. Got one! And you missed. Alright. Leaving it on auto cam so I can see what's going on. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> hey! You're lucky. Oh. Not lucky. Um. I'll shut up now. Where are you going? 
enemy! He, run, he runs in the opposite direction, and then goes, enemy! You shoot your friend! Shoot your fr- oh. What? Was that a ricochet? No, it's people in the trees there who are hitting him. Right, I, I stayed still thinking I might be able to get an interrupt on one of these guys if they came around. Of course, that wasn't the case. Since people can see them, 